today I um, I want to talk about I'm gonna open a gift a care box that I got from a really good friend of mine I'm very excited to open she said there's snacks in here so <laughs> I'm really looking forward to that um, and I'm hoping that nothing broke um, at the same time as well uh, okay and then later after that I'm gonna be doing something else but uh, f that's what we're gonna, I'm gonna be doing first and actually uh, um, as I open it I want to talk about the different ways that we tend to show um, love like how uh, no wait hold a second I, I need notes I don't like I can't do anything without like notes like language just like flies out the window for me um anyway uh love languages and stuff between uh neuro like well, I guess just the neurotypical and neurodivergent love languages um as as I open this okay eh, or probably I don't know hold on I have a sharp thing I'm opening it I was gonna open it on stream but there's like addresses and names everywhere in the box and i was like oh maybe i'll just take everything out of the box and then and then just show the stuff on stream but i wanted to see my reaction because she's been t she told us about it um a while ago and i have been means i technically wanted to do one as well but uh i haven't gotten around to doing it oh this cookies in here <laughs> there is food Listen, listen. Can you see? Snacks. This is good. Oh. It's um it's a mushroom? But I think part of it fell off. It's a mushroom! <laughs> oh you guys look! It's Loki! It's the alligator Loki! It's the one I'm missing, you guys! Cookies. Wait, more cookies on this side. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Look at how cute this is. I can't. Look at it. Look at it. He's so adorable. And he's so soft. Oh my god. And there's this like super heavy thing. What if she sent me something that is completely inappropriate and I open it on stream? Wait, no one's watching, right? <laughs> she wouldn't do that. Would she? <laughs> that cookie smells so good. <laughs> I want okay, I'm gonna move the cookies because I'm gonna open this box. Oh, you can't really see it. I'll show it. But just look at the turtle duck and. Alligator Loki had like his face got messed up. Where, what the hell was he supposed to be looking at? I don't, I'm not sure. There. Oh, you can't really see because his like his crown is so big. Oh my gosh, it's a tea set. It's a tea set, you guys. Okay, this needs to take center stage. Oh my gosh. She's Oh my god. <laughs> I'm like so excited. I didn't have to like, look at it. <laughs> Can you see it? Look at this. This is amazing. I, I don't have like good lighting right here, but it doesn't matter. Oh look, 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 you guys. It's a I am so I shook it <laughs> this morning when it arrived, <laughs> and I'm like I'm glad I didn't just go like uh, to the box. Um, okay, it's two teacups, you guys. This is so cool. Okay, let me give the trash to my dog. Maybe if you entertain me. So. <laughs> No, I, I put this ring on. Oh, it, ha it actually has a shape. Wait. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not, like, it, it has, like, a way that you're supposed to put it in there. But apparently I'm not paying attention. Wait, how do you... Oh, there you go. 
Monkey's just a tiny little mirror. Wow. These are amazing. Look at this. I should pour some tea. I have some tea over here. But it's like extra strong because I just left the tea bag in there. Because I was planning on like diluting it with something else and I just put it in a like water bottle or something. I hope my son is being super needy today. Okay. So I knew this was coming. I didn't ex I didn't know what was in it. Uh, <laughs> it's so cute it is. Oh my gosh. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, and so I wanted to talk about... This is so cool. Okay, <laughs> I keep getting distracted just because everything is so amazing. And uh, it's literally like everything I love. I love tea. I love Loki. I love this. And I love turtle ducks. Um, okay, so I, I want to talk about the, the love languages, right? So the ones that we heard, might have heard before are uh, words of affirmation physical touch uh, like getting gifts um spending quality time and like acts of service and um okay i'm back um <clears throat> all right so wait where was i oh yeah love languages so the ones that you might have heard or seen like people mention online are uh the five love languages right and i think there is because i've read the that book and um i know there's one for like couples and there's one for um for children as well i haven't read those so i'm not sure if they different all that much or if it just if the author just sort of like explain a little bit further um <clears throat> as to what how you can tell, you know, for kids or for couples what the love languages are. But <clears throat> I'm just going to go over them really fast. Because like, it's word of words, <laughs> words of affirmation and just, you know, being told I love you or you look beautiful today. You know, things like that. You look handsome. Physical touch, hugs, kisses, holding hands. Um, receiving gifts, just like I did, right? Um, getting gifts, uh, you know, just little details like throughout the year, not just like on your birthday or whatever. Um, quality time, just hanging out with people, uh, doing fun things together, and acts of service. Um, you know, making your lunch, cleaning up after you, <laughs> like making sure you have things. Like if there's something that you need done because um, you're in school and you're very stressed, then, you know, that's what they will be doing. Um, but it's a little bit different when one is neurodivergent. Not saying that this don't apply. I'm just saying that there is the way of demonstrating uh, your care and love for another person might be a little bit different if you're neurodivergent or if your loved one is uh, neurodivergent. <laughs> and um, so I looked online real fast because I've seen this as a post before where uh, people talk about how... Um, they, I think it's like five. Why? Well, no, it's more than five. I looked at a few different articles, so I'm just gonna live with them, right? So it's info dumping. Like, just let me tell you about something really cool that I do, and I tend to do that a lot with my sibling. We have this sort of like unspoken acknowledgement. Now we talk about it all the time. It is spoken, <laughs> but um, I he just let me like info dump on him. I tell him whatever I'm interested in, like a book or story, whatever I read that I want to share with him. He let me share. Uh, he might not be super interested in it, but then he just kind of like listen. Like I'm not, I don't exactly uh, need him to be like, oh wow, that's amazing. Tell me more, but just for him to listen and let me just sort of geek out. That's what we need, right? And he does the same whenever he uh, goes to play D and D and he comes back. Um, sometimes he tells me about his campaign, and sometimes I'm really interested in it. And sometimes I'm not, but I know that he just wants that space to be able to. I just want to keep touching like that space to be able to um to talk about the things that he loves <clears throat> and hence why i created psychology for geeks you guys because we all need that space to just sort of like geek out and i'm hoping to create that so yeah that's the infant domain parallel play or buddy doubling parallel play we use it more with kiddos where kiddos are playing sort of like each is playing their own game but they're not really interacting with each other um, body doubling, same. You're just kind of in the same room, but not really interacting with each other, but just 
keeping each other company um and that for some reason i heard a lot on like tiktok people talk about how it is um whatchamacallits it is like it helps uh neurodivergent people be more productive when you have somebody else in the room and it's true sometimes i don't really want um to do you know stuff for the nonprofit or whatever oh by the way we are legit now you guys we have was it i don't know like approval from like the state and irs and stuff <laughs> so we are a legit nonprofit now yay um Anyway, so sometimes I don't want to do things for, for it, but I have David come in and he's usually like playing games on his phone or like be going through TikTok, like just chilling like before or after work. And then he'll just kind of like be hanging around in my room because uh, my office is in my room <laughs> and uh, we don't, I don't really talk to him. But sometimes whenever I come across something funny or he comes across something funny, like he's here and then he'll share it with me. So that, I don't know, that helps. Um, support swapping. You know, like taking turns, being there for each other. Um, that's basically what it was. Uh, deep pressure. I think this is a very much like a sensory thing Some sometimes. Uh, we often see it a lot more with kiddos who like, um, that's what we, there's like weighted blankets or like uh, they have vests for kiddos too. And like uh, weighted toys. <clears throat> uh, and then you can make your own. Let me tell you how. <laughs> Info dumping. Um, so a somebody i was working with actually told me that you can just sort of I, I can't do it with this but i'm just let's pretend there like there's a scene here you cut it open you put like a bag of like um not necessarily marbles but like i don't know rice <laughs> in there or like something that will make it weighted and uh and then you sew it back up and then you just you make your own weighted toy and uh it's so soft you guys <laughs> how cute it is oh my god um it's so cute it's so freaking adorable um yeah so that's basically it's like a sensory thing right um like just being squeezed and uh i really love the name of this one penguin pebbling which is basically kind of like giving gifts um but you just kind of like it's very small things right so if uh if i find something online like so basically my friend did penguin pebbling um i had talked to her years ago about how the only one uh the only loki that i was missing was this one uh this loki and she said i'm gonna send it to you and i was like okay sure and then like years passed and like, she didn't uh, and then uh we talked about avatar the last airbender and she i think her mom or like somebody in her family made it um and she said i have one for you but like it never got around to it and then like she showed us her collection of this so like every time like there was something that reminded her of me she would get it and like but she just lives like on the other side of the country so uh she just kind of waited until she collected enough and then sent them over uh so basically yeah that's you know penguin pebbling and we do the same thing like nowadays i hear a lot of people say that they're more comfortable just like sending memes like instead of having like long conversations with friends because as adults it's really hard to make friends or to keep friends or to find a time to hang out with friends so um basically what um what we do is we send a meme and we're like hey this reminds me of you or like remember this one time and i do that with my friends all the time as well um unmasking that was important that's having uh this is kind of like a step above quality time i will even say because it's i am so comfortable with you that i am willing to be my weird self or like just my normal self without like you know masking so um yeah, it's a little bit different and i just wanted to talk about it because i think it's important like how long has this been it's like 20 minutes okay it's not it's not meant to be a long video okay, i just wanted to show you guys how like it's different oh and also i wanted to talk about how everyone has like a different way of showing right so when my friend talked about how she was making us um a care box um or a care package I said, hey, that's a cool idea. I have always wanted to make one. So I was like, I want to make one too. But I haven't started doing mine. So I'm not going to send it anytime soon. I I have a list of things I want to put in the box. I just haven't gotten around to it. Eventually, 
I'll do it. But anyway, um, so, but we have another friend of, of ours who said, um, I, she wanted to skip the whole sending uh, a box. She wanted to do something else for us that was more in her wheelhouse and something that she was super interested in. And also we are as well, but it's sort of like a different way that she's showing um, her appreciation, her love for us. Right. And that's okay. Like, it's just, um, a dog was barking. Sometimes we just have to be, um, a bit more open about understanding how others share their love and care for us. And it might not be the same as ours, but that's okay. It doesn't mean that they don't love us. We just have to remind ourselves that the way they, they express their, their thank you or, or their, um, their care is different than how we do it. So it's important for us to have that conversation of like, how do you feel love? Like I would try, you know, to make you feel love in, you know, the be- the way that you communicate or the best, the way that you understand it, but no guarantees. This is, and also explaining, this is how I feel love, or this is how I show love. And, um, that way there's more of understanding and having that continued conversation throughout. I want to pull this, don't pull it, don't pull it. <laughs> this is, I, how do you, I don't know how they made this. It is so cool. Like, I can't get over how it just looks like very turtle-ish. <laughs> like, look at, look at how cool this is. Oh my gosh. So I bought a kit uh, to learn how to, uh, how to make these. Um, I, I couldn't, because the first thing you kind of, you can kind of see it here. Like, you kind of have to get started with a point like this. And then like, it grows and grows and grows right like you kind of like start from there and I don't even know how to make that one and I had to like google it and I kind of got upset but I think um I might learn it or pick it up faster if I have someone show me so I have a friend um who I'm gonna trick into coming to visit me so she can show me how to do that um and hopefully eventually I'll be able to make little creatures like this because I have a whole list of things that I want to make I have a kit of like you know make your own kind of but um I have it I don't know how <laughs> so anyway yeah that's the thing but yeah like it's it's important for us to communicate you guys it's uh it's good to do that and um so yeah just let us know in the comments like if you receive a care box or um uh, no hold on let me backtrack a little uh, let us know in the comments what you think your love language is or like what how you understand uh, love. how do you how do you receive love and how do you show your love and um let us know if you ever received a care box what was in it and also give me ideas of things i can send in my care box <laughs> yeah anyway uh really that's just i just wanted to to share the tidbit of information i want to do more of this like shorter videos where i do like a quick sort of like info dump <laughs> basically on something and then geek out at the same time uh so yeah let me know if this is something you guys want to see or more of i i do want to make more of these videos but um I, you guys turns out having a non-profit is a lot of hard work and i have started to like engage more with my local community like doing presentations and things like that and um because we're so new we are like about a month old or something like that it is crazy so every i'm doing everything as of now <laughs> but i'm looking forward to like uh doing volunteers and i'm not very good at uh asking for help in general because I, I say oh it's not that big deal i can do it it's just and it's not a matter of not me not being able to do it it's a matter of um to have the energy and time to do it like because there's so many things that only i am qualified to do because our board members are amazing but they each have their own area of expertise but when it comes to mental health that's sort of like my area of expertise or experience my area of experience i like that because expertise i'm never going to be an expert you guys there's so much to mental health like i'm never going to be an expert but um uh, it's my area of knowledge and experience so um there's only things i can do so uh, like other things i can delegate to someone else so I'm, I'm i'm figuring that out um so i'm hoping to create more content or more 
cool content like this so yeah let me know if you're interested in in, in that and i'm just gonna do the outro now thank you so much uh for watching this uh i'm pretty sure it's a short video and hope it is um and uh yeah we are uh, okay i really want to do a um a schedule on twitch but it's it's not working for me you guys i can't do schedules i whenever i have time i i think i'm just gonna hop on and like hang and chill <laughs> but uh, uh, but because i like i have so many things like my schedule is constantly like changing so i don't think i'm gonna be able to do that i wanted to do it on the weekends but the weekends are also things like when i do like things for the community and i have to have my own self-care too so um yeah just <laughs> Just follow us on Twitch and then uh, you'll be able to see the VODs. Like most of the VODs I will post um, on YouTube as well. But yeah, you can just follow, subscribe, um, check us out on uh, Instagram, Facebook. Check out our website um, for some of the cool things we have planned for later on. And um, yeah, don't forget to reframe and re-enchant your life. And we shall see you hopefully soon. Um, he's me!